So in this video we're going to be looking at how to write records to a file. So when I say record I mean having um, multiple bits of information on a single line all separated by commas. So effectively we're looking at how to create a comma separated uh, uh, value file or CSV. Okay so that's the plan. So we're going to be looking at how to create something known as a CSV file or a comma separated values file. It is a really simple way of storing data. So each line can be thought of um, one collection of information. So in this case, we've got the initials of someone and their high score, maybe playing a computer game. I don't know. Um, so each line we call a record. OK, and um, essentially why we've got the initials and the score going together. So they uh, we want those stored together. So when we read it back, we know whose score goes with whom. That's the idea. OK, so um, what this little program will do is output the initials and a score to a file. So what we want is both the initials and the score to be on the same line um, separated by a comma. So the output should look something along the lines of this. So YTR comma 2000. So in order to do this, we need to first use a bit of simple string concatenation, i.e. joining strings together in order to get this working. So how do we do that? Well, the name is just available here. So I can just literally put that straight in. Then to get the comma, I just need to use string concatenation, put this little plus in and just put a comma in there. OK, notice the comma is in quotation marks because I want it as a string. So that's going to give me this bit here. The next thing I want to add on is the score. Now, because that's an integer, I need to first cast that to a string, which is why I've used this cast here. And then finally, slightly new, um, maybe unusual, um, we have to have on this slash m. Now, in the last video, you will uh, hopefully remember this is a new line character. And what it does is it adds on a new line character. So the next thing we write to the file will be on a separate line. OK, that's actually really important because otherwise everything will just be a one big long line and we won't be able to read it back in. So once I've done that, I'm just going to print it out. Um, then I'm going to write it, open the file up write that to a file and then close it. So I'm just going to delete this bit of text here and I'm going to run this code. So hopefully fingers crossed that's worked. So let's go to the file and then there you go. Okay, you can see that is in the file. Now, the next thing we are going to do, so I'm just going to uh, tweak that a little bit. Uh, I've been mucking around with this file a little bit. Um, so that's why that new line character was in there. So I've just taken it out. Now let's see what happens if I change the initials. So let's say I put AHA and put a new score in there and I run this code. Now, if you remember, um, when we did write into a file in the previous example, I did say that the file will be destroyed and recreated if you, um, you know, open up the file in write mode. Let's see what actually happens this time. Okay, so if I open the score up, you can see it's actually added it to the end of the file. So why has it done that? Notice that instead of using W, I've put an A in here instead. The A stands for append. So an append mode will allow you to add to the end of a farm. You can't, you can't add something to the middle of a farm. You always have to add to the end of a farm. OK, there are some reasons for that, um, but I'm not going to get into that uh, in this video because it requires me to explain a little bit how files work in on the hard drive. So um, that's the reason why I put A there. So every time this program runs, okay, I'm just going to run it uh, maybe twice. Go back to the score file. Every time I run it, it will add the score bit. And obviously, I didn't change the text, so I've got the same score three times. Um, but hopefully, you get the idea. So this is a slightly challenging practice task. And um, on, uh, once you've had a go at it, I have explained uh, not only what the answer is, but how to get to the answer. So hopefully that will help you if you can't do it. Um, but what I want you to do is to uh, create a program which will write to a file, which allows to store new names of phone numbers. OK, so um, the file should look like this when you created it. So we'll have a name, comma and a phone number. 
Now, when you do it, um, you notice that phone numbers start with a zero. OK, so there's a big, big tip. You don't want to cast up to an integer at any point. OK, there's no need to. Um, so that should always remain as a string. OK, um, if you do cast an integer, what will happen is that zero gets lost. Um, it should ask for um, new names and new phone numbers. And it'll keep asking until you enter done. And once it enters done, uh, you stop the program. So that is the practice toss. So pause the video now, have a go and uh, check the answer in the next slide. So let's look at how we might do this. Now, the first of all, we need to kind of get the uh, names of phone numbers in. So that's nice and easy. So I'm just going to ask for a name uh, and use that as input. So enter a name. And then I want a phone number. So phone equals input. Enter a phone number. Now, slightly weirdly, um, I'm not casting that to an integer. And the reason why I'm not doing that, well, two reasons really. First of all, is that phone numbers can start with zero. And if you cast any number starting with zero uh, into an integer, it will just take the zero off, which isn't what we want. Um, and also, secondly, um, when I write to a file, I need it as a string anyway, so there's no point casting it to an integer, okay? You always gotta have to think a little bit carefully when you do your casting. Anyway, so then I want to construct that thing that I'm gonna output. So uh, it's a line to output which is simply going to be the name plus a comma plus the phone number plus the new line character. Don't forget that one. Then I want to make sure I open the file up. So let's open that file up. Oopsie. Uh, op uh, so uh, let's call this, I don't know, um, so addresses, address file equals open address.txt comma append mode again, because I'm going to keep adding. And then I want to do address file.close to make sure I close it. Then I'll just simply want to repeat all this. So um, name equals blank while name does not equal done. And then I'm just going to put all that inside the loop. And there is the uh, final program. Um, it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually really is. And you can see this code um, um, is completed in a very, very short number of lines. Okay, but that's how you would create a very simple address book uh, to output the name and the phone number all on the same line um, and keep adding to it.